Hey guys, Chris here. So back home after almost a week in rainy Bergen and here we have beautiful, beautiful sunshine and back to my XC90 also. Oh. And just adjust the camera there. Back in my XC90, but I'm actually not gonna drive this for very long because I'm actually on my way to Oslo. And you guys know from the title of this video is that I'm going to pick up a brand new 2019 Volvo V60 D4 inscription. And that is gonna be very interesting, especially since this car has uh, the, uh, the 4C chassis, adaptive dampers. I'm really excited to test that out and see what that is like. So yeah, and we actually have quite warm weather here for being mid-September 19 degrees Celsius isn't bad especially since I came from that rainy and dreadful weather in Bergen barely 10 degrees Celsius so I'll see you guys in Oslo so the XC90 is now parked up here I'm here at Fornebu Volvo Bilia where I pick up the uh, usually pick up the press car so you guys who have seen my videos before well recognize this place Probably Norway's biggest uh, Volvo dealer. So here we have it. This is the press car, 2019 V60 in, is this pine gray metallic, I think? And this is basically on the exterior, just similar to the T6 inscription I had. The same 19 inch wheels, double five spoke, same front end. I don't think this has any body kit on it. Let's check out the rear. No, no body kit, so just standard, you know, inscription exhaust. We're gonna do, you know, a, an extensive video on the exterior and interior as we usually do. D4 inscription. So this is a front wheel drive car with 190 horsepower. So this will be much more comparable to the Audi A4 we also have. So this will be very, very interesting. And this has the blonde interior. So keyless go, keyless entry, as you can see here, but also the uh, the pine wood wood inlays so this will be very very interesting you know I like light interiors much better than I like dark interiors so just just adjust the seat here close the door okay so we have the diesel clatter so here we have the spec sheet also I never shown you guys the spec sheets before so let's see if I could just, you know, open this up. So let me just read to you guys the most, uh, you know, important specs. So this car has head up display, 360 camera, audio, dim audio auto dimming, exterior and interior mirrors, uh, navigation pro, IntelliSafe surround, LED lights. You have uh, electrical, you know, power front seats. Uh, these also have massage and they're also ventilated. Napa leather and you also have the Taylor dashboard you can see it there and this also has the four zone climate control you have the panoramic sunroof as you can see there this has the laminated windows double pane glass only front windows well that's normal for our for this class already Audi A4 only has for the front windows also the X3 I had a few weeks ago only had on the front windows uh, park pilot uh, assist front and rear you have an electrical trailer hitch you have the Barrison Wilkins premium sound uh, system I'm going to do a review on this sound system in the V6 B because I haven't done a review in this uh, this car on the Barrison Wilkins I think it's probably I think it's actually the same sound system I have in my XC90 but I want to do a separate review for people you know wondering how this sounds because of the you know the different cabin smaller cabin it might sound a bit different this also has the 4c chassis so adaptive dampers and also the 19 inch summer wheels so those are the specs and the exterior paint color is pebble gray is actually called so this is an inspection inscription with ins <laughs> inscription pro d4 190 horsepower automatic and it has the uh, blonde leather interior. 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour is 7.9 seconds. So I'm really excited to see how 
how this engine will perform in the smallest Volvo I've tested it in actually. So let's see in the hours to come. I've driven the V60 now for less than 10 minutes and I wanted to get you know something out of the way quickly. Talk about the elephant in the room and if you're new to the channel you might not know what that is but for you you know long time viewers, long time subscribers, you guys know that I'm not a big fan of Volvo's diesel engines. They're two liter four cylinder motor well because of you know different reasons uh, mostly it's because my experience with them have been very inconsistent so background my first xc90 that car i started this uh, you know this channel on was my 2016 volvo xc90 d4 inscription the same motor as in this car two liters 190 horsepower and after you know almost 100,000 kilometers, 60,000 miles in two years, I was just sick and tired of you know the diesel sound, the diesel vibrations, and that engine in, in, in general. It was you know quite enough in the beginning, me hopping from you know a 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan, but it, in my opinion, just didn't suit a luxury car very well, especially a luxury car of, of that caliber. And compared to you know the competitors, it was you know more noisy more unrefined and being a four cylinder it doesn't make the nicest sound either um in the past you know two two almost three years since i've had that car or since i you know uh, got that car and in the meantime i've had a lot of experience with the d4 diesel engine um and the d3 diesel engine which is basically the same motor just with 150 horsepower and my main reason for not liking it is that it's been very inconsistent the the uh, noise levels, the the vibration, the sounds coming from uh, the noise uh, from the engine, and the refinement levels have refinement levels have been very inconsistent, uh, depending on what car you've tested it in. So that's one of my biggest concerns with this diesel engine is that it's been very inconsistent. Sometimes it's some aspects have been refined. It's been quite at idle, while in some cars it's you know been very. Uh, loud while revving out, revving out and you know vice versa so it the experience has been very inconsistent and my expectations have always been you know never met I've always been disappointed so that's why I'm quite happy to report that I think in this installment in the V60 is the best execution of this D4 diesel engine so far you don't have any weird you know vibrations at idle you don't have any loud noises from the exhaust at, at idle which I've had in two different V90 D3s actually um, and also in the D4 and also D5s so you don't have that here and it's relatively quiet at idle and also revving out it's still not there at the Audi A4 level which I think is the most quiet diesel engine in this class but still I'm actually quite impressed but how will my you know next one and a half week be with this car will I you know notice it more will it get too too loud too harsh uh, will it get too tiresome in the one and a half weeks to come well that will be the very exciting part because I'm gonna drive this car a lot in the city and I'm going to uh, going for a long trip to Trondheim which is yeah an eight hour drive each way so I'm gonna keep you guys updated and stay tuned for all the videos to come so you join me here now in the evening it's now six o'clock I've been driving this car the whole day and I just wanted you know to get a very good impression before I talked you know more about this car because the first time I talked about this car in this video was just within the first 10 minutes and I just wanted to, to you know let the diesel engine sink in more and there are a few unrefinement issues that aren't very big but when you pull up to a stop when you're idling in drive put a foot on the brake there is some vibration and then it seems like uh, it settles down I don't know why there is vibration and then it settles down it, why it doesn't just settle down right away uh, if you know the engine or the ECU you know detects that we're actually uh, stopped and idling and you know drops the RPMs down to a yeah, to, to less vi vibrant RPM I, I don't know what, what, what what's going on there but that's just a very small issue 
otherwise a, a, a very nice drivetrain. So here on the motorway doing 110 kilometers an hour, um, you can't hear the engine at all. It's not very quick, it's only 190 horsepower. Well, I'm used to my T8 with 407 horsepower, though a much more heavier, a much more heavy car. Um, this car, at least on the motorway, you know, you floor it. Well, you can see the speed increasing and, you know, the speedometer climbing, but it's not in a rush. Again, only 190 horsepower, very adequate. Um, but yeah, what I was very interested in this car and what will you know, explore more in the week to come and in the videos to come is the adaptive dampers in, in this car. So first impressions is that the comfort is very good and while keeping a lot of, you know, the stiffness and the body control, I would have wished that this might be due to the 19 inch wheels, but I would have wished that there was, you know, a, 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 a more softer setting like I had in the BMW X3 which felt something like in between this and air suspension, but they're most definitely going for, you know, a, a different driving experience here. And I have, you know, individual mode activated. I have the throttle put to comfort, the brakes put to comfort, the steering put to heavy setting, and the suspension set to comfort, and then auto start stop uh, disabled. Um, this is much like the V90, no, the V90, the V60, the T6 inscription I had just with much less power. It has a beautiful interior. I like this blonde interior much better than I like the black interior. Overall, it's it's a very nice driving experience and I can't wait to explore it more in the week to come. The end of the day, guys. I'm almost home and I thought I'd just end the video here. Um, so, I tested dynamic mode and it's... It's really cool. I'm gonna do, uh, you know, a proper, proper uh, segment on a video about dynamic mode. But it stiffens everything up. Um, it's. I don't think it's as sporty as the car with sport suspension because that's lower. This only stiffens up the dampers. There's no air suspension here, so it doesn't lower the car. I, I notice a bit more body roll than what I did on the uh, T6 inscription I had with the sport suspension, but uh, well, it's, it's not bad at all. It, it just hugs the road, no drama at all. Very composed, even if this is just a front wheel drive car. Um, the diesel engine is the only thing that's, you know, bothering me in, in, uh, in this car. I, I do, you know, notice and experience the occasional droning from the exhaust, and that's, you know, a, a big uh, refinement issue that you just shouldn't have in this car. I haven't experienced that with the Audi A4 with the diesel, um, or even the BMW 3 Series. Uh, the you know the current generation, which is about to be replaced, has a more noisy diesel. But I haven't experienced the droning, and that's the same thing I experienced with the V6 V40 D2 rental car I had this winter you know these rental cars i had while uh, waiting for my uh, my xc90 my t8 and so volvo seemed to have you know a droning issue with their diesels uh and and for me that's a that that is a deal breaker i know for a lot of people it's not because you know we've gotten quite good fuel economy here 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers um in you know in in the last 90 kilometers and that a lot of that has been quick motorway driving and you know a lot of city driving we haven't done any you know econo economy driving at all so i'll expect that number to drop in the week to come when we do and there there was some also some very strange i don't know transmission or throttle uh hesitation so I pressed the throttle there, braking for a truck, and nothing happened. Everything just paused. That that's a bit strange. And I've also noticed that the programming in this transmission is is a bit slow. It's just a bit slow to to respond. So again, the D4 drivetrain isn't my favorite, but for economy driving, for comfort driving, it is it is uh, well, it does a very good job there so guys that was my first impressions video here on the 2019 volvo v60 d4 inscription front wheel drive if you liked this video please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye
Thank you.